Hey there, welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you what and how we are going to do throughout the course. Also, I'm going to use this introductory video to show you other artists with a style similar to the one that we are working with. For this course, we'll be modeling the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. So, the first thing we are going to do is searching for references of some artists that we can use as an inspiration and those who work with rounded and quite smoothed shapes. In my case, I'm inspired by artists like Aaron Martinez, who creates, as you can see, amazing things. This one, for example, uh, you can notice that he creates round shapes and uses mostly matte colors. Although not always, sometimes he uses other kinds of materials as well. There are other artists like Tadeo Soriano, who is this one here, who creates characters with big heads and small bodies. Actually, the most striking part of his creations is his original way of adding color and lighting effects. In order to get the final image, we'll be working with Keyshot, since I find it very useful and accessible. And here we have Subperfection, which is a studio which creates pictures similar to the others, although they develop slimmer characters, and which are quite slimmer, as you can see. Also, if you look closely, they also work with a specific color palette, we'll see it later, and they usually use matte colors. So guys, after this trip to this artist's portfolio, we are ready to look for images of Frida Kahlo. You might ask, why did I choose Frida? Well, apart from being a great artist, she's also an iconic character with particular features which are pretty easy to identify, and this is great for catching the public attention. So, to look for, for Frida's images, we just need to use Google and we'll get loads of pictures. In most of them, she's represented with colorful clothes and flowers, her characteristic unibrow, the jewelry. So guys, my advice is to save all these representative images because we are going to use them afterwards. So at the end of the day, we are looking for a character easy to model with round shapes and bright colors, generally matte ones. So guys, in the following video, we'll dive into the creating process. So we'll start whenever you're ready. See you now.